In this short video I'm gonna explain a very interesting subject of feedback control in practice called integrator windup. A controller is often tuned based on the model of the system which only consists of the basic linear transfer elements. Furthermore it is often tuned for good reference behavior. To evaluate the tuned controller performance the closed loop is usually simulated. That results, for example, in such a reference step response. For many applications, the very short rise time, the small overshoot and the short settling time fulfill the customer expectations well. The more annoying is it when the tuned controller is performed with a real application and the control loop then has lost its very satisfying time domain specifications. So let's look at the first part of a possible reference step response with the same controller but a real application. It's quite easy to see that the control rise time has extended a lot and the reason for this effect is obvious when we have a look on the block diagram of the control loop. Like here the simulation is often based on the system model the controller was tuned for and this model only consists of the basic linear transfer elements. But in case of a large control error E, for example as a result of large reference steps, the modeling is insufficient. This is because in real applications the actuating signal Y is usually limited. The keyword here is actuator saturation, which results in an additional nonlinear transfer element in the real application. Now, due to insufficient actuating power, large controller outputs cannot be converted to large actuating signals, and this at the expense of the control rise time. Now let's look at the second part of the reference step response with real application. And what the hell is that? Also the overshoot and the settling time are enlarged enormously. Well, this is the effect of integrator windup. To explain it in detail, let's go back to the block diagram of the control loop. The controller is a PI controller, whereby the integrator is responsible for a steady state error of zero. Subsequently, in steady state, the proportional part of the controller output UP is also zero, and only the integrator output UI contributes the entire controller output U. With other words, the integrator output alone keeps the system in steady state. Now with this background we go back to the reference step response of the simulation. The red plane marks the integrated control error during the rise time begins at T1 and ends at T2. This red marked error plane makes up the largest part of the whole error plane of the step response. That means the integration of the control error during the rise time multiplied with the controller parameter ki, which is the integration constant, is approximately the integrator output in steady state. We do the same thought experiment with the step response of the real application and recognize immediately that the integration of the control error during the rise time now is much larger compared with the simulation. Therefore, this integrated control error multiplied with the integration constant ki is also much larger than the integrator output ui in steady state. The enormous overshoot is therefore absolutely necessary to reduce the integrated error with a negative error plane, which is here marked in blue. So summarized, an integrator windup occurs if the actuator is in saturation combined with integrating action in the controller. In order to remove the integrator windup effectively, the integrating action has to be reduced as long as the actuator is in saturation. And there are a lot of methods to realize this called anti-windup. For example, one of the most popular anti-windup methods is called back calculation. It is based on an additional feedback which influences the integrator input as long as the actuating signal and the controller output are different. The additional feedback can be adjusted with the so-called tracking constant KT. Of course, the rise time cannot be improved with an anti-windup, but the overshoot and the settling time. 
and the reference step response with anti-windup can for example look like this. So I hope you got a good insight to the problem of integrator windup. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.